Today I'm going to show you how you can use Test Modeler to improve the efficiency of even your manual testing. So we're going to start out with an empty canvas, and the example we're going to talk about is making a mobile payment. I'm first going to break down my scenario into some high-level steps. So I'm going to log in, I'm going to check my balance, I'm going to make a payment, and then I'm going to maybe look at the history of my other transactions. So here we go, log in, then check balance, make the payment, and finally, transaction history. Now, of course, normally what you would do is go into each of these high level steps, which is almost a test case, and you would create the detailed steps explaining uh, what the actions are and the expected results. These high level steps will also be used and reused on a number of different occasions, uh, depending on the exact iteration of your use cases and scenarios. So what's interesting about Test Modeler is we can easily uh, define each one of these uh, steps or nodes as a subflow. And now I simply need to right click here and move it to a subflow. And I'm going to give it the same name. You can see already it has said login v1. If we go back to the Explorer and go back to the home directory, we can see that we already have that login subflow. So let me first do it for the others, and then I'll move everything to the same folder where we are working. OK, so now I've created all my subflows. I'm going to exit this model for the moment. And if we come back to the home directory, we've got all of our subflows. Let's move them into our manual testing folder. Okay, now we have everything in one place, and let's see how we're going to actually use these subflows. So first, let's just take a look at one of them. So this is really an empty shell. What you're going to have to do afterwards is come in. Well, here, we already what we do see is we see what preceded it and what comes after, but that won't necessarily be the case. So you might even want to change that back to start and end. But more importantly, you're going to detail all the steps that you need to do in your user interface in order to actually go check the balances. You're going to put in your expected results and so on and so forth. You might even have values coming in from a previous subflow and going out to the next one. 